in this video. The Bitcoin price broke down from this falling channel but zooming out in the 4 hour time frame. Where are we headed with the Bitcoin price action? And guys, stay tuned up until the end of this video because we are going to announce the winner of our Bybit t-shirt giveaway. Stay tuned to know more. Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video. So let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So di ba dun sa ating previous analysis, what we were monitoring was actually this falling channel na kita natin within the 15 minute time frame. And you can actually see this in the early time frame then. And then the last night, what we were expecting was somewhat of a bullish tracement. Kasi if you're going to look at this, yung previous movement na nandito tayo sa ating support line, we saw a bullish divergence which is a declining price while the RSI was increasing. That's why we were expecting a bullish retracement. And we saw that similar movement dito. However, ang nangyari is we saw somewhat of a sell volume dito sa ating movement and nagkaroon na tayo ng bearish breakout dito sa ating Bitcoin price action. Unfortunately, ang nagplay out dito is actually this bearish scenario which is yun nga, nagdecline siya dito further. In order to understand the move dito, you need to get the height of this falling channel. Then, lagyan natin siya sa possible point of breakout. And then, yun yung naging target. But we drop even lower dito sa ating Bitcoin price. Now, let's understand where are we heading within the Bitcoin price action. So, zooming out sa ating 4-hour time frame, you can see na we are still within the ascending triangle na minamonitor natin within the past few days. So, sa ngayon, wala pa naman talaga yung kaka-worry, not unless we break this support line na nakita natin dito sa ating ascending triangle. So, sa ngayon, wala pa talaga ka worry kasi hindi pa natin siya break But, let's dive into the very short term and let's understand where are we heading within the very short term. So, if you're going to look at the early time frame and let's try to look at the RSI, the RSI is somewhat increasing pero look at this, the price is not declining. So, this is not a bullish divergence. Rather, I think this could be a possible consolidation and possible na mangyari dyan is possible na magkaroon siya ng bearish continuation pattern. So, in that case, tingnan natin yung 15-minute time frame. So looking at the 15 minute time frame, it's possible now we are seeing a possible support line dito. So this could be a possible support line. And this could also be a possible resistance line. In this case, this could be a possible na either a bear flag or bear pennant. Kasi possible na mag-continue sa, sa ganyang movement. And if this is a bear pennant or bear flag, then we are just going to get the height of this bear flag. And then like that's just a possible point of breakout. Then in that case, we might actually see Bitcoin drop up until... 39.5k which is actually the similar support area nitong for our time frame within the Bitcoin price action. So right now, as you can see, we are still playing within this ascending triangle. If you are just trading for the very short term, it, so ito yung pwede nyong gawin for the very short term if let's say you want to trade this for the very short term. As you can see, meron tayong ascending channel dito forming within the 15 minute time frame. So you can actually buy at the support and then sell at the resistance. So right now, we have a swing tradable opportunity which you can actually do Pero the moment na makita tayo ng breakout dito sa ating support line, so our target if mag-break natin yung ating support line is actually going to be the 40.2k area if magkaroon tayo ng breakout dyan. But if we get more sell volume, then we are going to target this bear flag target which is around the 39.5k US dollars. Pero as of the time being, we can actually monitor this area na yan if we are going to continue this pattern. And if magkaroon tayo ng bullish breakout, in this case, if this played a bullish scenario, then we are just going to get the height and then lagi natin siya sa possible point of breakout if let's say this breaks bullish. So as you can see right now, there are three ways on how you can play this movement for the very short term. So number one, you can actually play out this ascending channel na nag-form sa 15-minute time frame. So you can actually swing trade that. Number two, you can actually play out the bearish scenario if let's say this breaks bearish. Number three, if magkaroon tayo ng bullish scenario if we break bullish, then we are going to open a long position if mag-break natin itong resistance line forming within the 15-minute time frame. And then, siguro ito yung gusto ko din ipakita sa inyo within the 4-hour time frame. Kasi look at this guys, in the 4-hour time frame, if you, if you are going to open the 200 moving average within the 4-hour time frame, typically, if you're going to look at the historical data, whenever na we are going to flip bullish with the Bitcoin price action, the 200 moving average is going to act as a support line for the Bitcoin price action. So as you can see, during a bullish price action, we are going to act this line as a support area, this red line. And during a bear trend, this 200 moving average is going to act as a resistance line for the Bitcoin price. So as you can see, right now, ano ba nangyari dito sa ating 200 moving average? So if you're going to look at the Bitcoin price action right now, we are at the 200 moving average. 
So I think this is a good thing to look at right now if we are going to play a bounce dito sa area na yan. Kasi if we are going to get a bounce dito sa ating Bitcoin price action, then this could actually indicate na we are still going to flip bullish. But right now, we have to hold this 200 moving average in order for us to remain healthy dito kay Bitcoin price action. So if you are going to follow this Bitcoin price action, what you have to monitor right now is, yun nga, number one, the early and 15 minute time frame if mag-form tayo ng bullish divergence. Number two, you have to follow the 200 moving average within the 4-hour time frame if we are going to hold this red line as a support ngayon dito kay Bitcoin price action. So those are the things na monitor ko ngayon within the Bitcoin price action, especially this ascending triangle and di pa tayo nakita ng breakout. So there are a lot of things to monitor sa ngayon kay Bitcoin price action and that are the things na you need to monitor ngayon. And now, let's dive into Ethereum price action. So diba, ganun din yung nangyari sa Ethereum. Kahapon, what we were monitoring was this 15-minute bullish divergence that formed dito sa ating 15-minute time frame. Kasi yesterday, we were expecting somewhat of a bullish trend reversal kasi yun nga, meron tayong declining price while the RSI was somewhat increasing. So last night, we were expecting a possible bullish movement dito sa ating Ethereum price action. However, nag-drop nga si Bitcoin so napagtuhan niya din si Ethereum price action. And as you can see, wala pa tayong bullish divergence na nag-form dito kay Ethereum price action. Wala tayong bullish trend reversal indicators yet dito sa ating movement na yan. But what we can say dito sa ating movement is right now, we are forming the support line. And as you can see, nag-form din tayo ng resistance line. So there are actually two things on how we can play this Ethereum price action. You can actually see that this is an ascending triangle forming within the 15-minute time frame. So if this breaks bullish, then we are just going to get the height of this triangle. Lagi natin siya sa possible point of breakout. Then in that case, we might see Ethereum go up until the 2985 US dollars if this breaks bullish. But if this breaks bearish, then we are just going to get the height. And then lagi natin siya sa possible point of breakout. Then we might see this go down up until the 2830 US dollars. So that is what we are monitoring right now within the Ethereum price action. And zooming out within the 4-hour time frame, you can actually see na we are still playing within this Fibonacci retracement area. And as you can see, ito yung 618 area ni Ethereum and 618 is actually the Fibonacci golden pocket area which is previously that is going to act as a resistance. Right now, this is now acting as a support for the Ethereum price action. So in order for Ethereum to remain healthy, we need to hold this line dito sa ating around the 2840 US dollars. So this must hold this line in order for us to remain healthy. But for the time being, what we can actually trade within the Ethereum price action is actually this 15-minute time frame ascending triangle na nakita natin. So right now, this is a swing tradable opportunity for the Ethereum price action if we are going to break bullish or bearish dito sa ating ascending triangle. Taking a quick look with the Cardano, as you can see for the Cardano price action, for the daily time frame, we are still forming this bullish divergence. As you can see, we are still very healthy pa din within the Cardano price action kasi look at that, price is declining and the RSI is still increasing. So at some point in time, we are still waiting for that possible bullish trend reversal dito kay Cardano kasi this is a very big bullish divergence forming within the Cardano price action. So as of the time being, we are going to wait this one out on when are we going to see that bullish trend reversal. But as you can see right now, we are starting to form this falling wedge within the Cardano price action. So in this case, if we are going to see a massive breakout dito kay Cardano, ang magiging target natin dito kay Cardano would be the 1.49 US dollars if we are going to break this resistance line forming for the Cardano price action. And this resistance line is actually the similar resistance line na nakita natin sa ating moving average, which is the 50-day moving average, which is itong yellow line. So if we want to flip bullish kay Cardano, we have to break this 50-day moving average with buy volume in order for us to say na akita tayo kay Cardano price action. So right now, yun yung ating monitor within the Cardano price action. So diving in within the SLP price action, di ba sabi ko sa inyo kahapon, meron pa din tayong bearish divergence, which is increasing price. While the RSI is declining, that is an indicator of a bearish divergence or a bearish trend reversal. And diba sabi kasi niya magiging target natin would be the 100 moving average in the 4-hour time frame. And look at that guys, we actually met the target around that area. So congratulations if you have traded that SLP price action dito sa ating bearish divergence. And as you can see, we might actually see a possible bullish retracement dito kay SLP price action. Pero I think ang magiging resistance line na dito kay SLP price action is actually this yellow line which is the 50 moving average in the 4-hour time frame. So possible na mangyari dito is possible na magkaroon tayo ng bullish retracement. So possible na magkaroon tayo ng short-term pump pero it's more likely na mare-reject tayo nitong 50 moving average in the 4-hour time frame kasi look at that, we are now starting to form this support resistance area. So right now, I'm still leaning bearish pa din kay SLP price action. 
despite of this possible bullish retracement within the very short term. But take note guys, for the very short term lang talaga yung mga bullish retracement na yan. Kasi if you're going to zoom out, we are still playing within this bearish divergence nitong SLP price action. And di ba lagi ko sa inyo sinasabi na always zoom out dito sa ating SLP price action kasi the short term price actions are very misleading. Kasi if you're going to look at the 15 minute time frame, it's very misleading. Some would say na iisipin nila na oh magpapump na si SLP. When in reality, if you're going to zoom out, isang short term bullish retracement lang yan for the SLP price action. Pero right now, I'm still leaning bearish pa din kay SLP kasi look at that. There are still no bullish indicators for the 4 hour time frame and yeah. Wala pa talagang signs of a bullish trend reversal for the bigger time frame. So as of now, bearish pa din tayo kay SLP. Pero guys, if you want to short SLP, one of the only place na you can actually short SLP is actually with Bybit. And if you want to claim bonus with Bybit, just use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. So now, let's dive in dito sa ating Bybit t-shirt giveaway brought to you by Bybit. And then piliin natin yung winners. So ang ginawa ko dito is dinavide ko yung ating wheel into two parts. Yung isa is for the large shirts and then yung isa naman is for the medium shirts. Kasi meron lang tayong dalawang sizes available for the Bybit t-shirt. So, pipili na tayo na ating first winner para sa ating Bybit t-shirt na large. And then, let's see kung sino yung ating first winner. So, take note, i-message ko kayo sa Instagram if kayo nanalo. And if di kayo nag-reply, then of course, pipili tayo na ibang winner. So, ito yung ating first winner na ating Bybit t-shirt giveaway. So, congratulations, Janice Sumakot for winning our first Bybit t-shirt giveaway. So, congratulations sa iyo. Ikaw yung ating first winner dito sa ating Bybit t-shirt giveaway. Now, moving into our next two winners, let's now check our next winner for our Bybit t-shirt giveaway. So, tingnan natin kung sino mananalo. And hopefully, kayo yun. And yeah, let's see. Congratulations, Kryptonite13 for winning our Bybit t-shirt giveaway. So, i-message ko kayo sa Instagram. Take note, if di kayo nag-reply, pipili tayo na abang winners. And last but not the least, let's see kung sino yung pinakang final winner na ating Bybit t-shirt giveaway. And ito na ating last and final winner of the day. Congratulations, Odin Stock, for winning our Bybit t-shirt giveaway. So take note, i-message ko kayo sa Instagram. If di kayo nag-reply, pipili tayo ibang winners. And then of course, ipapadala ko sa inyo itong Bybit t-shirt. And always remember to keep your lines open kasi if hindi kayo nag-reply, pipili tayo ibang winners. And this giveaway is brought to you by Bybit. If wala pa kayong Bybit account, you can actually use my sign-up link. Now you can find the description down below. So I'm Munap Dintaten for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.